Who doesn't love noodles? Whether they're served with a rich aromatic soup or stir fried with succulent fresh vegetables and juicy tender cuts of meat, these springy, chewy, slurpy, tangly mouthfuls are simply delicious. The noodle dish we're most familiar with here in the West has to be chow mein, but instant ramen noodles are right up there as a quick fix favorite. Who hasn't tried a pot noodle or two at some point? In this episode, I'm going to introduce you to some of the different varieties of noodles and the best ways to cook them. There's rice noodles, udon noodles, dried chow mein noodles, buckwheat noodles, soba noodles, fresh egg noodles, and even ramen noodles. The list goes on. If there's one dish we've all tried, it's the chow mein, a staple in the Chinese takeaway order in every household. This noodle dish should be chewy, springy, crispy, and packed with crunchy bean sprouts and succulent chicken pieces. Let me show you how. Like always, we've got to get everything prepped before we start cooking. So, we do these nice and quick. You don't have to be too fancy about this. After all, it is only chow mein. And I'll just chop my spring onions quick as well. And there we have it. So my chicken has been pre-cut already. I'll get my wok on so it's nice and hot. We try not to start cooking until the wok is smoking. Um, it just stops ingredients from sticking and makes our job a lot easier, especially because we're dealing with chow mein noodles, which are notoriously sticky when we're cooking them. Um, if you are cooking in a carbon steel wok at home, uh, make sure your wok is red hot. And I really do mean red hot um, because it just makes life easy. So wok is smoking, I don't know if you can just see this, just here anyway, but uh, I'm gonna put in a good squirt of oil. Um, it's just put in as much as you think you wanna use. And if you're dieting or you're trying to be good, use a spray oil, just make sure you're using a good non-stick. Um, chicken is pre-sliced into bite-sized pieces. And uh, when we're eating the noodles, we don't wanna have to cut the chicken after we're already eating it. So in that goes. And it's only gonna take a minute, a minute and a half to cook through because it is so thin. And we're just gonna sear off the edges or the sides, just trying to lock in some of that juiciness. And you can see already, I'm getting browning around the edges. Um, it's turning a lovely white color rather than that pink. And we'll just keep it moving. And now we can add our onion. And we're just gonna cook these long enough to soften. Uh, I'm still gonna try and retain some of that crunchiness as we're eating these noodles. So we only need to give this another couple of seconds and then we'll get our spring onions in. Okay, let's just leave that alone now. Already I can tell that my wok temperature is dropping um, because the sizzling isn't as fierce as it was. So I'm just gonna give it 20 seconds just to regain that heat. And so at this point, I can pop in my spring onion. Now spring onion is a classic Cantonese flavor. And this dish is very Cantonese and it's in its origins. And once these have taken on just that tiny little bit of color, we'll get my noodles in and then my dries and we'll finish off lastly with the wets. If you're not using ready to wok egg noodles and you've opted for the authentic Chinese dried noodles, you'll need to bring a pot of water to the boil and add the dried nest of noodles to cook for at least three to five minutes or until softened, but still al dente. Drain in a sieve and spread over a wire rack or you can use a cotton tea towel and allow to dry and cool completely before using your chow mein in the dish. And I'm just gonna fan these out over the top of my ingredients. Now, if you can, we're gonna try and swap the noodles from the top to the bottom. Lovely. Now, in for the dries. So, I'm gonna add a pinch of salt 
Again, do this to taste. I think that's gonna be plenty. Sugar to balance out the saltiness and the sweetness. So a couple of pinches of sugar should be plenty. And because I am gonna add the bean sprouts in a second, I'm gonna add a hint of pepper. The pepper is just gonna help bring out that natural peppery taste of the bean sprouts. And it's lovely for that little bit of background heat. We'll give this a quick mix. Now, in go my bean sprouts. And just before I mix those in, I'm going to add a tiny touch of dark soy sauce. Now, the dark soy sauce is there not only for that umami flavour, but also just to help colour the dish. You know, we eat with our eyes. So it has to look fantastic. And in goes the dark soy. And we'll just make sure that's well incorporated. The bean sprouts only need to fill the heat for a second. And I'm happy that that's done. So just before I finish, I'm gonna add a squirt of sesame oil now. Give that a quick mix. That's just going to give it that background nutty note. I'll grab my bowl and my chopsticks and we're going to take out a portion just so we can see what it looks like. So we'll get a couple of bits of chicken on top here. And there we have it guys, my chicken chow mein. The last thing to do now, head down, mouth open, and tuck in. Noodle heaven. And now for something a little bit special, a big bowl of soft curly ramen noodles in an aromatic broth. Those who crave the sweet and spicy are going to love my crispy, chewy, chili tofu noodle bowl. So it starts with tofu. Now this is firm tofu. You can get different types and it's the firm one you want for this particular recipe. There's soft and there's also silken. Silken is more, you eat it more with a spoon. It's quite like a dessert. Uh, the soft, it's nice in soups, um, but you've got to be really careful that it doesn't break up. So like I said, we need a big piece or a piece of firm tofu. If you like it really, really firm, you can always pop it in the freezer defrost it the following day and then just squeeze out the extra water. This is straight from the fridge and I'm gonna chop this into approximately one by two centimeter pieces, okay? Just kind of like bite-sized pieces. So pieces that will fit comfortably in my mouth and I do have a big mouth. So, and again, this is only approximately guys and my wok is already getting hot, so I'm just gonna turn this up. Now, to get that crispy coating on the outside, I'm just gonna dip these in corn flour. Now, there's nothing else. This dish actually is completely vegetarian and vegan, so we're not using any animal products in this at all. So, in go the tofu, and this is just corn flour. There's nothing else in here. There's not even any seasoning. Okay, so I'm just gonna grab my oil. Now, because the tofu is covered in corn flour, you will find that you use quite a little bit of oil in this, but you know, we can, we've added about three tablespoons and I can always add a little bit more if need be. And carefully, I'm just gonna add this now to my wok. And all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cook this long enough until it goes crispy and golden brown. I say the tofu is already pre-cooked. And I'm just banging off the excess. And I'll do enough for a portion. So we'll just add one more piece, I think, and that should be plenty. If you've got a pair of chopsticks, uh, use a pair of chopsticks or a pair of tongs, that's completely up to you. And we're just gonna turn these in the oil, just so each side gets nice and crispy. Now you can just see the tofu is just starting to colour. Now, once I have that color, pretty much on all of the sides, this will be done. 
I'm just going to pour off just a little bit of the extra oil that's in this pan. So there's the extra oil poured off. Now to this, I'm just going to crush, literally crush a garlic clove. If you like a really strong taste of garlic, by all means chop it into smaller pieces. And we'll just give this a quick mix. And once I'm getting, I've got that instant fragrance from that garlic already. So I'll give this another five seconds. In goes my sweet chili sauce. Now you can use any brand that you're happy to use. And I'm literally just going to cover the pieces. Heat goes off. Now onto our noodles. Now we are going to cheat. These are instant Chinese ramen noodles. You can use the soup mix that comes with your dried noodles. But if you prefer to make your soup from scratch, Here's my spicy broth recipe. Add one liter of stock, chicken or vegetable, add in slices of ginger, chili flakes, a pinch of paprika, salt, five spice, and for that added kick, a couple of fresh chilies split in half. Finally, add a splash of light soy sauce, taste and adjust the seasoning if necessary, and not forgetting to add that drizzle of sesame oil at the very end. So, water's boiling already. And I'm just going to pop these into the water along with the soup base that comes with it. Now, I like spice, so this is a spicy noodle base, but use your favorite. And we're just gonna add this in. And with my pair of chopsticks, I'm just going to soften. Now, personally, I like my noodles quite al dente, so still with a little tiny bit of bite. So as soon as this noodle nest softens, and becomes a big mass of noodles, I'm gonna get it out. Okay, so my noodles are nearly softened. I'm just gonna switch the heat off and let them sit just for a second, just while I tidy up my worktop. And grab my serving bowl. Now, you can cook these for as long as you like. Like I said, I like mine quite al dente, so. That's like the center of the earth. <laughs> so I'm gonna use a cloth. Right, so I'm just gonna grab my noodles and pop them into my serving bowl. Now I want to cover the noodles with enough soup so it's about two thirds of the way up. That should be plenty. So I'm just going to take my chili tofu and I'm just gonna arrange this onto the top of my noodles. Uh, we'll use a little bit more of that chili sauce. We'll just tidy this up a little bit. Now, toasted sesame seeds. You don't have to use toasted, but personally I think it tastes a lot nicer when they've been toasted. A little tiny sprinkle of bean sprouts. And to finish, just for a little bit of color, we're going to add some chopped spring onions. There we have it, my sweet chili tofu ramen noodles. So we've used egg noodles, we've used wheat noodles. Now I'm gonna show you how to cook some lovely springy soft rice noodles. In the restaurant, we used to call this Singapore vermicelli, but you'll probably know it better as Singapore fried noodles. This dish screams, eat me, packed full of flavor and vibrant colors. As always, my wok is hot. I'll grab the oil and we're gonna add just a splash. And the first thing to go in has gotta be my sliced chicken. Now, Singapore fried noodles, you can put any protein that you want in. So if you fancy tofu or char siu pork or a bit of beef, by all means do so. I'm going to be cooking some chicken and some prawns, my own version of surf and turf. So again, I've cut the chicken, this time into thin slices and a little bit thinner. 
So again, they'll only take mere seconds to cook. And I'm just going to get a tiny bit of caramelization onto the chicken. So in which case I've got to leave it alone. So stop tossing the wok, Gotlin. The only way this chicken is going to caramelize is if I leave it alone. That'd be caramelized that, I'm pretty sure. There you go guys, straight away there's colour on my chicken. Now I'm going to get some of my veg in, so first of all my carrots which are nice and crispy at the moment and I'm going to get in my red pepper. They've been chopped into really thin slices. The noodles are very, very thin and they're cooked very quickly. So I've got to make sure that my vegetables retain that crunch, but are softened enough that you've not got that raw, that rawness about them, I guess. Now, I am going to get my chili in at this point, which is always hazardous. You know, back in the restaurant, we'd throw the chili in and pretty much exit the take it, well, exit the back door because um, the whole room would be filled with plumes of this potent chili smoke. Now for this dish, I'm cooking with ready to wok softened rice noodles. Uh, you can buy this dry and they take literally a minute to soften in boiling water, but you will need to make sure that they're dried properly. Um, any moisture will make this dish soggy. And like always, I'm just going to fan out the noodles into a layer and then attempt to get them onto the bottom. Because these will only take seconds to cook, I'm just going to turn my heat down ever so slightly just why I concentrate on getting some of this dry ingredients in. So, I'm just gonna add some minced ginger, along with some more chili, this time in a dried variety, so some chili flakes. And of course, this is Singapore, so it's an Indo-Chinese dish. We have some curry powder. Use your favorite. That should be plenty. I'm going to add just a pinch of salt, a pinch of sugar, which will help balance that heat. And because I'm putting in bean sprouts, I'm going to add a pinch of white pepper, again, just to bring out that natural bean sprout flavor. So let's give this a mix and we can get the heat back up again now. It's really important that we control the heat when we're cooking, um, just so we don't burn things. And that's what these are for, these little things here. And it's, it sounds silly, but if I had it on full whack the whole time, chances are my noodles would have burnt. But because I turned it down, just took, because I was taking my concentration away from the dish, ever, just for a second, I just wanted to make sure I was in full control. So, my shrimps can go in at this point, along with my bean sprouts. And because my bean sprouts have gone in, I'm gonna get my wets in. So I'm gonna literally put in a splash of vinegar just for that tiny bit of tartness. A splash of light soy sauce for that umami. Doing a little bit more actually, I won't be so stingy and a glug of oyster sauce. And there's a glug of oyster sauce. Now heat up to the max. And give this a stir. Now you can see I've created a well in the middle this is where I'm going to get in my egg and we're just going to give this a really quick whisk with a pair of chopsticks 
and in that goes. And I'm just going to allow the egg just to set in the middle. before I mix it through the noodles. Okay, and done. So we should have flecks of egg going right through these noodles now. And I'll finish off with a flourish of my spring onion. Okay, heat goes off. A splash of sesame oil. I'll grab my bowl. And there we have it guys, my Singapore fried noodles. And I'm sure you're going to agree, along with the crunchy vegetables, the juicy chicken, and the springy rice noodles, this is the perfect mouthful. And there we have it, oodles and oodles of noodles. A classic chicken chow mein, my slurpy spicy tofu noodle ramen bowl, and a perfect pile of Singapore fried rice noodles three of my favorite noodle dishes for you to try.